So I've been tinkering with this uh, Volksumfanger 38 this morning. Bought it on eBay. It arrived yesterday. Uh, a couple of couple of the tubes are shattered, but the uh, the seller is making good. He's uh, sending me replacements. Taking it apart, trying to figure out what makes it tick. That grill cloth. <laughs> it's going to be replaced today. Just really ugly. The case is in amazing shape. For for 81 year old Bakelite, there's not a crack in it. There's not a chip on it. It is in perfect condition. Got the uh, little Nazi uh, eagle and swastika on the front. Lest anybody forget who was the boss. So that's the chassis. This thing is so crude and so basic. Um, on any other radio, you've got a dial, you've got a knob on one side and a knob on the left. Usually the one on the left is power on-off switch. The one on the right, um, you know, tunes your radio. This thing is completely unlike that. Power on-off switch is this toggle here. And it's Bakelite also. Uh, real fundamental. Surprised it even works. The spring is still intact. The knob on this side, this is just the craziest thing. This is all it does. Turn that. There's a little coil on the inside of that of that piece of bake light. As you turn it, it pushes into that uh, coil on the other side, and that reduces or increases the generate the regeneration, the the feedback. That's all it does. And on this side, a knob where you'd normally find some sort of tuning mechanism or volume mechanism. By the way, there's no volume control on this radio. There was no such thing. You adjusted the volume by fiddling these two knobs. Regeneration and this, which is a noise or interference reduction. You dial it. It lets out that coil. You dial it back. And it tightens it up. That's all it does. Like I said, this is caveman radio. The tuning dial itself, if you want to tune in a radio station, you don't have a glowing bar that says, you know, 540 to 1260 AM or whatever. This radio actually had two bands, AM, which is known as medium wave, and long wave, which uh, is still used in Europe and Africa and Asia but it hasn't been used here in the States for forever. Long wave is below AM radio. It's below medium wave. So you have one dial. The red is long wave. Let's say you hear a station. You have no idea what frequency it's on. Let's say it's on 273 uh, kilohertz. You just happen to remember, you write it down. Okay, 273 kilohertz. I'm picking it up on 40 on this dial. And you jot it down on your log, on your log book. You remember that that's the station you liked on 40 in the red zone. And let's say you want to hear, uh, you're hearing some music that you like on the AM band, which is white. And you remembered it was on 50 or 55 in the white zone. Again, you, you write it down on your log book. There was no frequency readout on this radio. You had no idea what station you were listening to. It, it couldn't have been more simple. Anyway, uh, the tubes, whoops, one of them went uh, here, the big one, that, that really shattered. The other one that was just cracked and useless went right here. So uh, replacements are en route. Again, this radio will never work. It will never play. Um, the previous owner looks like they did some stuff to it. They put in some modern capacitors and they putzed around with it, but I have no interest in making it work. I just want to make it fun. I, I just want to make it, uh, um, together again. It's a piece of history. So anyway, that's it.